I don't think that was a good omen. What's going on, everybody? V Broadway Vic here. And I'm actually um, doing an unboxing video. And this one's pretty cool for me because I've been waiting for this moment for like, I wanna say, probably 18 years. So I've, I've been waiting for this moment for 18 years. Uh, I finally saved up enough money and I used some of my tax returns to cover the uh, what I was missing. And I finally got it in yesterday, but I was at somebody else's place yesterday, so I wasn't able to see it until today. We just finished streaming some Mario Kart and Super Mario 3D World, so I'm doing straight off a of stream right into this. I'm so excited. Um, I'm still working on my room, so it's uh, it's gonna be a little dirty, but this is like, this is way after, you know, after you guys saw the mess of my room from last time. I think the camera might be a little um, not balanced, but let's freaking get right into it, man. I'm so excited to see it. Uh, Lightman got the package for me. I'm very happy to call him my brother, so. <laughs> So let's see what's going on here, man. But this is an unboxing of the Alienware Aurora R11, and I can't wait to, to see it. I can't wait to try it out. I can't wait to stream with it. Um, I've been wanting an Alienware since I was a kid, since I was like 10 years old, and I first logged onto the internet with with old dial-up noises. Um, I've always, I've always been infatuated with Alienware. I know a lot of people are gonna say, why'd you go pre-built, whatever, but this, um, I don't know all the specs off my head, off the top of my head, but this is uh, rocking a 3070, which is impossible to get right now. So whatever, man. Plus the guy from Dell knocked off like an extra $400, so I'm not gonna complain about it, and I'm not gonna let nobody else bring me down. So let's get right into it. I got the box right here. We're gonna check it out. Unbox it. Uh, the box is a little beaten up, but I hope uh, I hope it's no, I hope it's still working. You know, the box is pretty beaten up. So let's take a look and see what's going on inside. All right, guys. I already cut open the box here. I got a little bit of hair on the box, but it's all right. Um, I just cut open the box. We're gonna see what's inside. I might cry a little bit, but you guys aren't gonna see the tears. You might just hear it in my shaky voice. But here we go. I'm about to take the top off here. And I'm going to see what, what it brings. And on the top we have the Dell logo. Um, it's so strange, man. It's so strange. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. And now it's super, uh, just being like super casual about it now, you know? right here and all right I know it's supposed to come with a standard keyboard and mouse um, this is the uh, I gotta see if I can get the framing right here but it's like a, I guess like an instruction manual or support oh yeah it's like a quick start guide we have the yeah standard mouse uh, like I said, it was gonna come with. Hopefully, I'm getting all this in the frame. I don't really. I'm not really taking a, a, a close. Not keeping a close eye on this thing right now. And this should be, you know, your standard keyboard, and it is your standard Dell keyboard, which is something that I use a lot at work. So I'm not gonna be using this one. As you can tell from the title of the video, this is gonna be a somewhat of a, I don't know, I don't wanna say mega unboxing video, you know, but it is a lot of different things going on. So, this I'm gonna keep it in the box. I have no reason to be using this. Nor do I have any reason to take the mouse outside of the packaging as well. So we'll put that to the side. This is probably the power cable uh, made in China. Yeah, this is the 
power cable, so we're just gonna take that to the side. This should just slide off, and there we go, guys. I am beyond excited. Uh, it's got the little foam pads on the side to protect it from anything damaging, and you already know sometimes with the USPS or the UPS, whatever delivery company, sometimes the employees just do not care about what happens with these boxes, right? So everything looks good. I'm gonna take it out and hopefully nothing is shaking on the inside. Um, so here we go. You guys saw how, how, gent, how gently I put it down, huh? All right, we're gonna put this on top of my new uh, Seven Warrior desk, and we're gonna take uh, another quick look at it. But this is it, man. This is my uh, Alienware computer. Let me check if it's even in the frame, but it's not gonna matter, because you guys are gonna see a better look in just a minute. All right, guys, here it is. This is the Alienware. Aurora R11. Man, imagine I'm getting the name wrong this whole time. That'd be crazy. Yeah. It's the Alienware Aurora R11. So this is it right here. We're gonna take the plas plastic off of it. I know sometimes with a lot of these pre-builds, they'll, um, they will wrap the insides as well so that way they can keep everything Nicely packaged. I know this is supposed to open up pretty easily. Uh, I said view. Oh. Mr. Lightman just came in, so you're probably gonna hear him in the background a little bit, but I got this bad boy open. I got it open. All right, so this is it right here. This is the 3070 that I put in there. The core, I'm, I'm forgetting the goddamn CPU that I put in this. I know it wasn't the best. I got 32 gigabytes of RAM in there. Um, I'm gonna put the entire specs list up in the video as well. Somewhere around here. Or maybe somewhere in the future part of the video date. Put everything in there pretty well. Um, I expected this to have like the little plastics to kind of keep everything from not moving too much. So I'm a little surprised that it came just like this. But overall, it's got that liquid cooling. It's got the RAM there. It's got the 550 PSU power uh, adapter. And of course the graphics card, which is something that I'm excited to start using. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, this is, this is cool, man. Like I'm, I'm, no, I'm no tech guy. So you definitely do not come to me for any technical reviews, but this is, this is so cool, man. To say that I finally have like my, my own Alienware. And I listen, I don't want to be one of those you know, uh, I'm gonna just put a little bit of lighting in there. I don't wanna be one of those like corporate shills, but man, this is just like, it's a childhood dream, you know? So you can't really blame me for being excited to use this, man. So that was just a, a quick look, quick unboxing. It was rough. I'm not used to making these sort, sort of videos. So we're just gonna close this thing back up real quick. So it should just, Five, maybe. Listen, this is this is giving a little bit of resistance here. A little bit. Alright guys, so with the computer coming in discounted, you know, I, I saved a little bit of money, like 
the guy literally sent me about 400 plus dollars here for this Alienware. Um, so I decided to go all freaking nuts and I went all Alienware with the accessories. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Lightman was a little bit ashamed, but um, we're gonna do just a quick unboxing of these items as well. We're gonna start with the Alienware 610M mouse. Um, says 16,000 DPI, which I don't know what the hell that means, but whatever. I think these things just slide it out, I believe. No, they don't. There's a little bit of tape there. Put this to the side. If you guys wonder what this mess is about, I'm about to. Um, mount another monitor so I just need these screws here so I don't lose nothing because um, I also got myself a little monitor mount too so I'm going all in here guys with my little battle station right so I took the tape out so it should just slide off for now and there we go the Alienware 610M wireless mouse I think it's looking real cool I saw this at the uh, at the Alienware Best Buy kiosk that they have out there so I thought it felt really comfortable when I tried it out. Um, this uh, computer desk that I have here, or the gaming desk that I have here, is also a mouse, a giant like mouse pad, which is kind of interesting. So, but whatever. I, I, I still, I still, whatever. We'll, we'll get to that point when we get there. So this is, uh, this is it right here. You know, it feels real smooth man it's been a long time since i've actually used a mouse pad and this is this is good i have a I have a moderately um large hand so this feels real comfortable i like, like these little grips at the bottom right here widens out at the bottom um some good action some extra buttons there which i'm so horrible at using the extra buttons on anything so that's gonna take a little bit of time to getting used to, but this is this is already feeling really good. Can't wait to try out some games with this. Uh, what the, oh, is this coming? I guess just an instruction manual, and of course the cable. It says it's wireless, but you can also just plug it into the computer if you want to use it that way as well, which is probably how I might be using it because I just took a look at the Alienware um, and I noticed it has like freaking a thousand USB slots, so. I might be doing it that way, but I also don't want to just overload it, you know, so wireless, I might do wireless maybe 75% of the time. And then this is the uh, gear up, throw down, this is just a little card that comes with Alienware's social media stuff. It says gear up, throw down, welcome to the next stage in your pursuit of excellence. United by the love of the game, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Let's move on to the next accessory that we have here, which is the, <laughs> this is the Alienware 510H uh, 7.1 gaming headset. All right, so I don't know if this even fits in the frame, but whatever. And they follow similar design philosophy, so I'm assuming you just take that sticker off real quick, and then it just slides out, but the sticker didn't come off all the way. Now it should have slide it out and then oh oh and then oh, oh. This is better come out of it get out of it there we go a little bit of resistance to it you know this once again I saw it at the kiosk I thought it was really nice real comfortable I know I shouldn't be trying things on during COVID but um I I Got nothing to say there. I just should not be doing those things. But it is cool. It's got a little bit of a Velcro to hold the microphone in place. Well, the headset rather. And then it should just slide off as soon as I learn how to work Velcro a little more smoothly. There we go. Whoa. It's nice, comfortable. Um, I know this is not wireless, so it should have the little 3.5 headphone jack. Oh, it actually shows a couple of different things you could be doing there. So, uh, I think I spoke too soon. I think I might need that quick start manual, right? So this is the, oh, I guess, I guess you connect it through USB, or I guess you want to connect it through the, uh, aux cord headphone jack, whatever you do that. 
Um, this should work on the Xbox controller, right? God, I hope it works on, on an Xbox controller. Um, of course, we have the little splitter cable, which, you know, I, I, I don't know what we need a splitter cable for. I'm gonna have to look into that. Cause once again, I'm not, I'm not like the biggest tech guy in the world. I love technology, I love games. I'm not like, like 7.1, I guess it's just like the sort of surround sound experience that it gives. But outside of that, like, I don't, I don't really know, you know, I don't really know. So don't, don't bash me too much, but. All right, I don't wanna make sure I get, keep this place cleaned up. So we're just gonna move this out now. Um, let me try these on. I have a pretty big head, but this feels, this feels right. This feels correct, you know? It feels like, it feels like it belongs on my head. Which is the minimum amount that you can say about any headset, right? And of course, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm not gonna be using the crappy uh, the standard Dell keyboard that comes with um, the desktop, so I, got myself this Alienware 510K um, the mechanical keyboard. It's got the Cherry uh, MX Cherry Red keys. I, I tried this out also at the kiosk and they're very quiet. I have, um, uh, you know, what's it called? I think they're called like the turret, like the turret, the keyboard that was designed specifically for the Xbox One. Um, I bought that, the mechanical keyboard is, is, it's fine, it's, it's just, I don't know. I have a couple of, I've always had a couple of problems with Razer in terms of the build quality. I thought that was real fun to use, um, on games that support it, which by the way, the Xbox, uh, Series X, I, I just pray to God it has a little more mouse and keyboard support, but I am going to be getting, um, Game Pass for PC. Now that I have this little beauty right here, so I, I definitely will be playing some Halo Infinite, maybe on my Alienware. Because I also want to get an Xbox Series S just for Game Pass. I'm just saying, the value is there. You can't, you can't. I just think it's objectively true. Now I know someone's going to say, how can you, how dare you, the audacity of you as a man to assume what I find value in, but it's just like, listen, you play all these new games, Microsoft just bought the Desta, um, getting away from the point here, this, this is a little different, this is a little different, this guy's a little bad, he has tapes on both ends here, both ends, what a maniac, so, let me just, uh, take this tape off, it's so funny, I was on the line and this guy kept staring at me, and you know, when you grow up in certain places, um, I have I had all these boxes on my head, so when someone stares at me too long, my mind just like gets into uh, a crazy headspace. So I'm like, man, this guy's gonna try to do something funny to me. The moment, the second I come to his Best Buy, uh, there it is. Once again, this is the 510K. What is it called again? Yeah. The 510K low profile RGB mechanical keyboard. Or as this says right here, Clavier de Jeu et du Beat Mechanique Extra Flat. Yeah. Never taken a day of French. Never taken a day of French. Can you guys tell? Probably not. That was so freaking smooth. So this is it right here. I know this is, uh, yeah, this is wired, which I have no problems with. I'm not at that point yet where I care if my things are wireless or not. Like, it's cool, obviously, for convenience sake. But if something's wired, man, it's, it's not gonna, like, ruin my day or nothing, you know? Once again, it comes with the instructions, I guess. Quick start, whatever you whatever want to call it these days. Once again, it comes with that card that has the Alienware social media gear up, go down stuff. It's the exact same thing that comes with the mouse, so. I finally got to a point where I can buy something like this and just like still feel good. Like I'll still be able to pay bills at the end of the month. I'll still be able to you know, make grocery purchases. Like buying all this stuff did not impact me the way it would have two, three years ago. So I'm really proud of myself for 
getting to this point, man. I'm really excited. Okay, so this is, uh, this is it, you know? Like a hundred. <laughs> State Farm is there, like a good neighbor. This is it right here. This is what I'm gonna be using. I, this is supposed to be like a volume rocker, sorts, whatever. I don't think I'll ever use it. Some people have like the 60% keyboard, which I think is a pretty cool concept. I'm still not ready to make that jump. I still need a number pad for various reasons. <laughs> um, volume rockers, whatever, like I'm probably never gonna use it. Man, maybe I might, maybe I might. Um, it's, got a, it's got a great, whatever, angle to it. You know, it's comfortable for me. Uh, I can definitely see myself playing this. And I got these colors because, of course, I wanted to match the computer here. Um, and then the last accessory is a pretty stupid one. Because I didn't know the table doubles as a mouse pad. So I bought this and I'm too lazy to return it. So I'm just gonna freaking use it. This is the Alienware <laughs> mouse mat. So I think this might be 83 centimeters by 37 centimeters, which come on, it's not, it's not American numbers. So I don't know what that means. Whatever. This is, oh my God, this is, Jesus Christ, what the hell is a centimeter? I feel centimeters are a lot larger than the sound. This is a super dope mat. What the hell is this? It's got the nice little uh, regular mouse pad stitching around here. It's got a super sick Alienware logo right there, which I didn't expect. I thought it was just gonna be black. It's got the Alienware, uh, whatever, tag there. And yo, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe because I got two, I got a mouse pad on top of a mouse pad. That's like, that's like extra like accuracy, right? It's probably what exactly what that means, dude. That's probably exactly what that means. And you know what, man? While I'm at it, I'm about to just hop online, dude. And I'm just gonna freaking get myself an Alienware monitor, dude. I'm thinking maybe a 4K monitor, you know what I'm saying? A 4K, 240 hertz refresh rate. I'm going, I'm going all in, man. I might as well go all in. Hold on, man. Let me pull this thing up on my phone. I'm gonna just buy it. I'm gonna just buy it, man. Screw it. Alienware monitor, whatever. Frick it, man. Let's go for it. 1440. $769.99. So I got this LG Ultra Gear 1440p monitor. Um, because no way was I gonna pay $800 for.